Welcome to Aero Auto Defense, your trusted channel for the latest updates on global aviation, automotive, and defense technology. If you are passionate about military advancements, cutting-edge aircraft, and modern warfare systems, make sure to subscribe and stay connected as we bring you the most detailed insights. In today's update, we'll discuss the current status and future outlook of South Africa's Danel Ruivak attack helicopter program and where it stands as we move toward 2026. The Danel Ruivak is South Africa's first and only indigenously designed attack helicopter, developed during the late 1980s and formally introduced into service in 2011. Initially built to compete with global platforms like the AH-64 Apache and Tiger, the Ruivak was designed for close air support, anti-tank missions, and aerial dominance. However, over the years, the program has faced major setbacks, mainly due to chronic underfunding and a lack of sustained government investment. Out of the 11 to 12 helicopters originally delivered to the South African Air Force, reports indicate that as of 2025, only two are fully operational. This sharp decline in operational readiness is primarily linked to severe shortages in maintenance budgets and spare parts availability. A three-year maintenance contract was signed in March 2024 to keep the Ruivak fleet airworthy until 2027. While the contract was valued at approximately R1.015 billion, only R216 million has been allocated so far, leaving a massive shortfall that threatens the fleet's long-term viability. Without additional funding, the number of operational Ruivak helicopters is expected to remain extremely limited, reducing the platform's overall effectiveness. The South African Air Force has repeatedly highlighted these budgetary constraints as the biggest obstacle to maintaining the fleet at combat-ready levels. Despite these challenges, there is some hope for the Ruivak program. In 2022, Danel entered into a modernization partnership with the Turkish defense company Aselsan, aiming to upgrade the helicopter's avionics and mission systems. This collaboration, formalized in 2023, focuses on installing a modern glass cockpit, advanced mission computers, infrared and thermal imaging systems, upgraded communications, and improved defensive countermeasures such as radar warning receivers, chaff and flare dispensers, and infrared jammers. These enhancements, collectively known as the Block 1F Upgrade Package, are designed to extend the Ruivak's relevance on the modern battlefield. If successfully implemented, they will significantly improve the helicopter's situational awareness, survivability, and combat effectiveness. On the weapons front, the Ruivak remains a capable platform. It features a 20mm F2 chin-mounted cannon with a high rate of fire and supports a variety of armaments, including Mokopa air-to-surface anti-tank missiles with a range of up to 10 km, Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, and 70mm unguided rockets. These weapons provide versatility in engaging multiple threat profiles, from armored vehicles to aerial targets. The Block 1F modernization may also introduce extended range drop tanks and improved targeting systems to enhance operational endurance. However, plans for the Ruivak Mk2, a fully next-generation variant, remain stalled. Danel has confirmed that restarting production would require confirmed orders of at least 75 helicopters, but no such commitments have been made. Without substantial investment, the Mk2 project is unlikely to progress before 2026. As things stand, the Ruivak will continue to serve in limited numbers, relying on partial upgrades to stay operational. Its future depends on increased funding and strategic commitment from South Africa's defense sector. For more updates on global defense technology, make sure to subscribe to Aero Auto Defense and stay informed.